I've come to Goa and I have come to a place to rent a uh, scooter and I've got a Yamaha Fasino. It seems people in Goa are really fascinated by the Yamaha Fasinos that almost every house has one or more than one Fasinos. So it provides me a good opportunity to review this uh, two-wheeler as well. The scooter seems very unique, has a very stylish design and I think the word Fasino is for fashion statement. So this seems quite a nice scooter, well built. How will be the right quality? I'll have to first ride it and then I'll tell. Good braking quality. The bike is very handy, very comfortable. Seems good. I'll be reviewing more, providing you a longer review of the ride quality as I keep on riding. It's only been about 10 minutes, so I can't so easily say how it is. The scooter has a very good pickup. Also, the glasses are broad and provides a good view. The quality of the glasses also seem top notch. Now, which is the way? I hope it is the straight way. Mm, straight way, maybe. Get better. I've come to the parking near Chapora Fort and I see quite a number of Fasinos here. I'm now heading towards the Aguara Fort. And here I see another Fasino. So this way leads to the Aguara Fort, this way. Well, it's been a long day with this scooter. It's a wonderful scooter. It goes up, it goes down without any problem. It has a lot of power for the city, particularly for, for any distance that is short. This is the perfect transport for that's one can find. Right, so let's go to the next destination. Let's explore the whole of Goa with this scooter. This won't be called an exact off-roading. Nevertheless, this is a kacha patch of road and let's see how the scooter goes through it.
so the scooter uh, has a generous boot space the seat should be opened like this there's a small sound that comes and then here we go so a helmet can fit in here along with some other smaller items this is the boot space good enough for a smaller helmet like this this is a helmet that I've got with with this scooter as an <clears throat> as a deal with the renter okay, then we close the the seat like this and we are good to go Yesterday I did a filling of uh, four and a half liters. So yesterday the odometer was somewhere around one nine five, uh, one nine four seven or five five hundred fifteen something like that. Presently it is one nine six one eight. That's the distance travelled so far, and. Uh, this scooter seems to have a, a mileage of about 60 or maybe a little more than that so I think scooters like this are quite economical and you know saves a lot of money now how much mileage does this uh, scooter provide that's a very important question for everyone so let's see now I rode this scooter, I think it had about 19,500 something and presently it is 19,700 something. So it's almost been 200 kilometers and in this 200 kilometers uh, I feel it has given me, there are still 4 bars here, so there are 6 bars in total and uh, as you keep on riding it, the bars reduce. So, uh, I did a full tank of this scooter, uh, which cost me about 450 or 500 rupees, I think. And there are still four bars. That means, uh, and I had been to uh, the whole, almost every part of North Goa, and to the old, old Goa, uh, to Panjim, and uh, to some other places. There are still four bars on this scooter, which suggests that I can still go up to at least 200 kilometers without any problem. So I feel that's an excellent mileage for 450 rupees or 500 rupees of petrol. You get almost 300 kilometers uh, you know, on this scooter, which is a good deal. All right. All right. So some final thoughts on this scooter, the Yamaha Casino before I give it to the person from which I've, I've got it on rent for two days. I've ridden this scooter for almost, I think, 150 to 200 kilometers. And it's been two and a half days now. And I'll be returning this to the person that I've got it from. So, what do I think about, about this scooter? I think I have a newfound respect for this uh, Japanese manufacturer. Japanese are mostly known for their reliability and the durability of their products and the same goes with this one. The engine of this scooter is very smooth, very refined. You won't feel any vibrations. I rode this at uh, 80 km per hour and there were no vibrations anywhere. The only problem was the wind blast. There was too much of wind blast and you know Scooters like this, I feel all the scooters are somewhat risky because you know once you ride at that speed, you would feel that you would just you know fall off the tr of the uh, scooter, or a higher speed may make you feel that you are going to fly now, fly off the scooter. So 
<laughs> that's one thing. I think that's that goes for all the scooters, not just with this one. And uh, now this is a question that is debatable, and that's a, that's for a different uh, time. And that is whether you should be buying a scooter or a motorcycle. Now scooters have this. Uh, small tires mostly of 12 inches which is why you know when you go, go through potholes uh, or somewhat bigger bumps you always feel the uncomfortableness through that road through that, through that patch of uh, road and I felt the same although it goes through everything but obviously because of the tires you would feel that not, now that's not the case with the with the motorcycle which have 17, 17 18 inches of tire all right so now should you buy this scooter i think i should definitely suggest that you should it's a wonderful scooter uh, yamaha a japanese company did a wonderful job in creating this one very smooth you feel very good when you ride this so go ahead get one